Welcome to ADI TV. Okay, hi guys. This is a quick refresher about the blurb and template creator and looking at the books that you've got to design. So first of all, I'm just going to go to um, Firefox a web browser and I'm going to click on blurb. Now I've already got a login, so it, by chances it's going to go to my login, but I'm just going to go through this so you can see it live. Okay, well, I need to go to the the uh, plugin. So if you go to make your book, Adobe InDesign plugin, click on that. And I'm going to download the plugin. I've just installed a new version of InDesign, so um, this will install um, as it would on your machine. Um, I'm going to go to Adobe CS6. Uh, you'll probably have a possibly have a different version of CS, but you can choose the different version there. Um, so again, I've got 10.8. I'm going to download plugin. It's going to ask me to save it. I'm going to save. Okay, so obviously depending on how fast your, your connection is, it will take longer um, or be faster. Okay, I'm going to swipe back. Okay, I'm going to go to my downloads. And I'm going to open that folder. Looks like it's finished. I know it's still going, part, still got that. It can't be far away now. About nearly. There we go. Okay, don't click on that. It's a DMG file which is a package which has got software included and I'm just going to double click on this package. It's going to run a little program to install some software. I'm going to say continue. Um, there's no nothing to select. It's automatic so you just continue. Agree with the software agreement. If you do then hit and continue and agree. Uh, I'm going to leave it on. The, my installation of InDesign is in the default location so I'm just going to leave that as is. I'm going to type in my password. Go. Hopefully, once that's finished, great, I can close that down. Get rid of that. Do any more, and I can open up um, InDesign. There we go. Ooh. There we go, InDesign's loading up. I'm just going to switch back to um, Blurb for a second. So the Blurb book we're going to do is, um, let's go to Pricing Formats. So we're going to be doing Standard Portrait. Where is it? This one. So it's this one here, Standard Portrait, and that's the size. So the sizes are 20 by 25 centimeters. Um, and that will probably be, um, that's full bleed sort of size. So you can see my, my desktop's pretty messy, but uh, ignore that. Okay, so instead of using this dialog box that's come up, which is open recent documents, create a new document. Now, I've never used this version of InDesign on this machine, so there's no recent documents. But I'm actually not going to use that. Rather than creating a document, let's get rid of these background folders. Just to, um, Let's go back into InDesign. What I can do is if I go to um, File, and instead of File New, I'm going to go Blurb Book Creator. And it's going to load that little bit of software. I've already done some books previously, which is what I've shown you. But I'm going to start a new book, um, and this will uh, create my template for me. So I can call that what I want, but I'll just call it test template. Um, we can put the author in if you want. The book size, I'm going to do standard portrait. Uh, the paper type doesn't matter too much at this stage, but I'm just going to use standard. And the cover. Um, I'm going to go, let's do image, uh, dust jacket, no, let's do um, image wrap. Okay, don't really need to worry about this, so I'm just going to um, leave those settings as they are, but I just want it to create the template so I can start designing it, so I'm going to hit create template. It's going to ask me where to save it, I'm going to navigate to my desktop, or wherever you want to save your, your work. I'm going to create a new folder and call this um, um, test. Book. It's 
spreads. Click it OK. And in that folder, I'm going to create another folder called um, files, which is going to be where I put my InDesign files. And I'm going to just hit save. It's going to save that, and it's also going to create it and open it up for me. Here we go. Okay, can I OK that? And if I get my pages palette open in InDesign, so these are the palettes down the side here. If I can make that a little bit bigger, you can see it's created me 20 pages. So I can go and do my spreads. Now, I don't want to start on page one. I want to start on page and do the first double page spread. So you remember, you're doing three double page spreads. So um, you can just, the extra pages, you can either delete or, um, or, uh, or just leave blank. OK, um, that's it. I just, it's just a quick recap. So uh, good luck. See you later. The School of Arts and Digital Industries at the University of East London.